DeWalt came out with a new 20 volt XR, meaning brushless band file. This dude's pretty sweet. You can get it with a kit with the power stack battery, or you can get it bare tool. It's going to be model number DCM200. If it ends in E1, you're going to get that power stack battery adjustable in every way you could imagine. The LED light has three different positions that it will lock into, and it'll allow you to get light anywhere that you can adjust the forward arm. This forward arm will adjust in almost 73 degrees. Pretty sweet. You can get it anywhere you'd like to. If you'd like to fold it up, you just push the lock on the trigger. That will allow you to fold it all the way down, lock this guy into place. It's not going anywhere and it won't turn on in your bag. We want to bring it out and use it, unlock that trigger, lock it into place. This guy will go anywhere from 1,970 feet per minute all the way up to 5,600. Now we have a variable speed trigger here and a dial to help us with any application. Variable speed trigger is pure DeWalt. The grip, pure DeWalt, everything is awesome. Everything locks in with a tool-free adjustment. You have this lever that locks this forward arm anywhere you'd like. You can remove this arm or, or auxiliary handle just like you would a angle grinder. Now, if you'd like to put something on to use in wood where you might not be using a flat surface, you can put a different arm on here and they also have a dust collection port that can be added. Pretty sweet. If you want to adjust this for tracking, you go right or left. Everything is very easy and tool free. If we want to change the belt, pull up on this guy, bring this belt out. Business comes with two 80 grit belts that are half inches wide. Everything here is simple and easy to use. That is probably my favorite thing about this tool. And it has so many uses, getting inside something, use it on wood, use it on metal, use it on plastic, anything you'd like. Let's get to working on a little bit of metal. Most people will use this inside a tube to take off burrs and it works awesome. You can do that in seconds. Great use for the tool. For me, I use these a lot on any type of lawnmower blade. You can see this one's chipped up really bad. I got into some rocks up north, but this allows you to keep a straight edge as you go across here, and it just works out excellent. Let me show you. Now I'm able to keep that straight edge. I can see I'm getting off a little bit lifting and that allows me to just come back and check. But if I hold this guy in and get it right, I can take off enough here and keep that angle straight. This blade, very bad. You can see when you look across the bottom, well, I kept the angle and I kept everything. This blade needs a, needs a lot more love than what I'm gonna give to it in a short period of time, but it is sweet just to brush up and get something a little bit sharper. Now we take a look at this forward section of the arm that comes with it. There are two guides, one on the top, one on the bottom. Both are flat. So when you're pushing against this, it's going to be flat like a file. They also offer an offset arm. That offset arm is going to come up and allow this belt to come down. It's gonna have some sag. So you would be able to push up on this and it would flex. So if you were using this on something round and wanted it to flex the paper a little bit more, that would work better with the offset arm. Still, if you're working with something round and you want to just take it down, no issue, obviously. I think 80 grit might be a little bit much for this and it's also hard to do where I'm not actually seeing it so I can show you what's happening but you can easily work on the outside of something. If you needed to get on the inside, no issue, but it's going to be flat in this case, where if you had something going with the other arm, it would be able to flex a little bit more and work on things that are rounded. I don't normally mix my wooden metal tools, but you could with this if you want to, or 
somebody's going to use it mostly for wood, mostly for metal. If you had a mortise and tenon or anything that you just needed to get in and take an even amount off, no issue. Obviously, this is just an example here. If we wanted to get on the top of this, feel where we're level. We can take a large amount off pretty quickly. Obviously, that's going to depend on the grit that is going to be on here. But this thing works pretty amazing. It all depends on the use that you have for this thing specifically. Current MSRPs on this guy are a little bit up there. $279 for the Bear Tool, $379 for the Tool, the Charger, and the Mini Power Stack battery. That's a good amount of money that you could spend on this tool, but for the right person, this is a priceless tool. The offset arm that I talked about can be had for somewhere around $69. That's not overly inexpensive either, but again, priceless for that guy who needs it. Overall, I love these things because they allow me to do just about anything I need to with one tool, get into different places, and for keeping a straight edge on different items, this is awesome. So for me, I love it and I think it's well worth the money. I like the DeWalt grip. I like the fact that it can use the small batteries. It's got all the power in the world, way more speed than I'd probably ever need, but still gets the job done. And these 18 inch belts that are out there for this, they're fairly affordable and you can find different qualities of them if you'd like to look for them and also different grips. So check it out. I'll leave some links in the description. As always, I look forward to your comments on this tool below. Lots of different uses for many different things. If you have some other odd use that you think a lot of people would use this tool for, please leave it below. I look forward to reading all your comments. As always, give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.